Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, second uh, video with uh, basic electrical circuits. This is Kino Thomas from Kino Training Systems, and let's jump right in. We're gonna, tonight, we're going to talk about types of circuit arrangements. There's two types. One is the series circuit. Now, you've seen this system or this diagram before, but in the series circuit, the electrons or electrical energy can only flow one in one direction. There's only one path way. Sorry, the mouse is kind of acting a little weird. All right, here we go. All right, so there's only one path for the electrons to flow. So that is the the series circuit. In a parallel circuit, we have multiple pathways. Here we can see our power source or our battery, the switch. The current comes down here. Now we have a fork in the road, so to speak. So electricity can flow this way, and electrical energy can flow this way or this way through the two bulbs. Uh, tonight, the new symbol that we're going to uh, talk about is a resistor. And uh, according to Wikipedia, a resistor is a passive two-terminal electric component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. So uh, it causes resistance. And uh, it also goes to say resistors may be used to reduce current flow and at the same time act to lower voltage levels. So flowing from here, through here, through here, through here, this thing is going to be these, these items are going to be lowering voltage le levels and we can see our series circuit and we can see our parallel circuit here All right, and we see how resistors are positioned in both of them uh, we have a 30, 20 ohm and a 10 ohm resistor and here we have a 30, 20 and 10 ohm resistor here alright so we're going to dig into the series circuit now like in our last video we learned that Voltage, current, and resistance are interrelated. They kind of play with each other, uh, if you would, or they're closely related. And um, just going into our series circuit, we can see that the electrical energy is going that way and flowing through a 30 ohm resistor, a 20 ohm resistor, and a 10 ohm resistor. Uh, here, uh, this arrow is the electrical energy is still doing the same thing but here we have a fork and road where electrical energy can go through this 10 ohm resistor or it can flow down to this branch so it's kind of like a ladder if you would but back to our pyramid uh, we're going to find current first and current equals voltage uh, over or divided by uh, resistance or our total the total resistance so we're going to work with the series circuit first all right and if we take 30 volts which our power source is 30 volts and we add up that's what we mean by our total resistor 1 resistor 2 resistor 3 30 20 and 10 equals 60 uh, ohms it should be ohms right here I don't know why it is not, but let's go ahead and put it in there. 60 ohms is our total, the total resistance. So 30 divided by 60 is 5, or I'm sorry, 0.5 amps. Okay. In the series circuit. Now, another thing that happens, what do we say when we defined what a resistor does, uh, the definition said that it slows down and it drops voltage. So let's find voltage drops. Uh, voltage is current, which we have defined as 5 amps in the previous slide. Or come on back here. So the total current through the system is 0.5 amps. There's my decimal. You guys will make comments in the comment section. Alright, so the ter total current in the system is 0.5 amps. We're sliding down to resistor 1. So, voltage equals current times resistance. 
So if the voltage is 0.5 amps, we multiply by 30, we're going to get 15 volts. That is the voltage drop. It goes from 30 to 15 across this resistor. If we come into our second resistor, our voltage drop 20 times 0.5 is going to be 10. So it's going to be t a 10. The voltage drop is going to drop down to 10 volts across, across this resistor. And then we do the same thing with this one, and we have 5 volts going across that resistor. So the current remains the same around the circuit, and we have voltage drops of 15 volts, 10 volts, and 5 volts. Now notice how we start out with 30, drop to 15, drop to 10, and then drop to 5. All of so we started with 30 volts here, we kind of end up with zero. Everything is used up, so to speak. All the energy is used up. And that will be a common theme. But uh, our total uh, amperage or current is 0.5 amps. Uh, total resistance is 60 ohms. Current and voltage stays, it stays the same throughout uh, the whole, well it doesn't stay the same, it drops. but volts being applied in this system are going to be uh, 30 volts pretty much. Start now, dropping, dropping, dropping. Alright, so let's talk about the parallel circuit and how that is different. Now with this, we have to use a table because we have to check ourselves. A lot of very interesting things go on in parallel circuits. And um, what I've done here is it's basically the same system. We have a 30, we have a 30, uh, ohm resistor 20 ohms and 10 ohms all right so we have the resistance here there's the symbol omega for r1 r2 r3 and don't worry about this four five six uh wow well you know what since i'm here i may as well just go ahead and apply the changes uh resistor 36 20 ohm is 5, and the 10 ohm is 4. Okay. So, resistor 4, 5, but we basically have the same number, or uh, not number, but the strength in ohms of resistors a 10, a 30, a 20, and a 10. Now, what happens is your electrical energy comes out here. And just like in the series circuit, voltage is going to drop across these uh, resistors. So here's our arrows. 30 volts of energy is coming out, coming around, and we're going to get energy loss as we flow across these resistors and branch off. A lot of people like to use this to think of this as water, like opening up a faucet in 30 volts. Well, we're going to lose energy because now that energy is distributed over more than one direct way, uh, pathway, sorry. So we have 30 volts here. And I don't know why it jumped like that, but hold on. Uh, let me check myself. So we have 30 volts. 30 volts here. Starting out and we're going to end up with zero volts here. Just like we uh, had in the series circuit. We started out, we flew, flowed across all the resistors. We lost, uh, across the 30, we lost, we dropped to 15, then we dropped to 10, no, 20, 20 ohms. We dropped to 10 volts, and then we dropped to 5 volts, and so there was zero. So the driving force is the potential difference between 30 on this side and zero on this side. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Now, zero volt. So we have energy loss. So now we're calculating uh, our voltage. 30 across uh, resistor 4. We have 30 volts flowing across there. Uh, across resistor 5. We'll just under, we'll just we'll just uh, go ahead and change this one because that's the one we're talking about. So 
the voltage flowing across here is 30 volts and the next one 30 ohm resistor R6 30 volts so that will not change so in order to find current uh, we have to divide I current equals V over R so V is voltage resistance is 10 so 30 divided by 10 is 3 we do the next one 30 divided by 20 is 1.5 and 30 divided by 30 would be 1 so as we look at the current flow um, and we'll note this in a minute but notice how the current comes out and comes down so what I'm going to measure is we have 5.5 amps of current right now if we add all these up and we calculated these we add all the currents up we add these that come to total 5.5 we start out with 5.5 amps then 3 amps break off on this one branch so we drop we lost 3 amps, which brings us down to 2.5 amps in this branch. As we cross here, we lose 1.5 amps. 1.5 minus 2.5 leaves 1. So we get 1 amp flowing across this bottom resistor. And then as it comes back up, these 1.5 amps jump back on and we go to 2.5 amps. And then um, we come back and we pick up the 3 amps and we have 5.5 amps again. And you can see it. We start out 5.5 amps flowing down. 3 go that way. 3 amps go that way. 3 amps of current go that way. We, so we lost 3. So we drop down to 2.5 amps. And we keep going. Uh, 1.5 amps goes that way. We're left with 1 flowing across the bottom resistor. And then we come back up. We're still 1 amp from here through the resistor or across the resistor and up here. As we cross this threshold, the 1.5 amps pile back on, giving us 2.5 amps in between this branch. And as we pass here, the 3 point amps come back on, and we have 5.5 amps. Alright, so that is pretty simple. Um, so, uh, our total voltage from the system, 30, amp, 30 volts, I'm sorry. Uh, divided by total current gives us our um, total resistance, which is 5, 4.5 ohms if we just do the formulas. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to the simulator at this point, and we'll pause the video here so we can do the simulator side of things.